Hi GMappers, uh, so this is a brief uh, description of how light probing can work. So as you see I have this scene and in this scene I have um, different objects and this one's the player and as you'll see down here I got some light mapping going on. Uh, this is a light mapped uh, shadow here, this is a light mapped shadow here, and this is a light mapped shadow here. And in fact these lights are also light maps. As you can see, I'm actually only having them set to display their baked lights. So I could say real time only, and you'll see that it changes a little bit. I could say auto, so you see a mix of both. But I'm setting it to baked only so that we can be sure that everything in the scene is only affected by the baked lights. All right, so I have an object moving around in space, like this player, and I want him to be affected by those lights what I can do is use light probes. Light probes require a volume of space in order to work. So I have my empty game object called uh, probably game object because I'm lazy. Oh, no, I called it probes and I can add a new probe and each one of these balls is a probe. Now you can use probes in different ways however you need to have a volume of space, so like you need to have a height here, so that it can sample in a, in a medium and figure out what the lights are going to be like. So I just uh, mapped it out generally and then made it more dense in the area where there's a significant light change. And then I duplicated them, uh, the, all the points I made, and moved them down so that I have a full you know, square or cube that it can uh, sample from. So now that I have my probes, I clicked on my guy here, my little first person controller. I went into his graphics and I made sure that he uses light probes. Then in my, uh, let me see if it's over here, yep. Then in my light mapping mode, I baked the scene and made sure to also bake the probes. And once that happens and I press play, you'll notice that even though uh, those are baked lights. When I move my character over there, he changes color with these baked lights. He doesn't cast shadows. Oh, actually, yeah, I did fix it. Never mind. He casts shadows onto this ground because I also have a dynamic light in the scene that can, uh, and this mesh can receive shadows. Um, so, not only can he cast these dynamic kind of dirtier shadows on the ground, but we can make some nice pre-rendered shadows and pre-rendered light predictions so that when the character walks by these lights which are actually uh, light mapped, they're not dynamic or they're not in real time, I can still see real time like effects. In other words, fake it till you make it. 